in this video I'll show you how to connect your HP Smart Tank. This one is the 5101, but it works with many other models using a USB cable to your computer, Mac or PC. So this cable does not come included in the box with any HP printer. You need to purchase one separately. And I have put an Amazon link in the description down below if you want to get one of these. Basically what it is, it's a USB type A cable to printer. If your PC or Mac does not have any USB type A port, but it has a USB type C, I will also put a link down below to a USB type C to printer cable. All right, so let's get started. First of all, we need to connect the cable in the back of the printer. And although the printer does not come with the cable, it has the port right over here. Sometimes it's on the left side. So I'll connect here. And then the other end, I'll connect it to the computer. Now that I have connected the printer to my computer using the cable, we need to download the HP Smart App. It's available on iPhone, Android, PC computer and Mac computer. You just need to go on the App Store, Microsoft Store or any other store that where you get your apps for your device. So over here I have already downloaded the, the app so I'll simply launch it. I'll search over here HP Smart, launch the app and the first thing we need to do is to add the printer. So on top over here I have other printers connected but you should see set up or add printer. Click on add printer. And after a while, you should see your printer appearing. I say after a while because in my case, it just took about 50 seconds. So be patient because maybe yours will take one or two minutes. So I'll select my printer, my HP Smart Tank printer. and then it will be added over here on the app itself, on the top. And you'll be able to see how much ink you have left. From here, it's very easy. You'll have all the options down below to print pictures, documents, or to scan. Everything using your cable over here. Now let me show you how to print and also how to scan using this app. I'll print a document. Select the document you want to print on your PC. This will open. Select your HP printer in this list. This one. And then modify the settings depending what you're trying to print. I'll just leave it this way. Press print when you're ready to go. Make sure that your printer has some paper and that this flap is extended. Here we go. This is the document we just printed. It looks beautiful. Now let me show you how to scan. To use the scanner, open the scan lid here. You're gonna take the document you want to scan and place it facing down with the top portion of the page. So over here, this is the top on the left side like that. Then you need to align the corner of the paper with the corner with a white arrow simply by gliding the paper this way. You can now close the lid and on the app over here, we're going to have the option to scan over there. Click on it. Then over here, don't change anything. You have presets. If you're scanning a text document, select document. If you're scanning a picture, select photo. Very simple, no? Then you have scan area. In my case, it's a letter size paper, so I'll keep it this way, but you can choose many different options here, depending what you're trying to scan. Output in color, in my case, you can also choose black and white. And finally, we have resolution. Resolution, it gives you a range between 75 dpi and 1200 dpi. If you're scanning text, I suggest you choose 150 or 300 dpi. If you're scanning a picture, 
I suggest you choose 600 dpi or 1200 dpi. Now the thing you need to know is if you choose those numbers it will take a while to scan. At 1200 dpi it may take many minutes, 5 minutes, 7, 8 minutes depending how many details are in your picture. So as I said if you're just scanning text choose one of these options 150 or 300. It will only take a few seconds and you won't miss any details really since you're not looking for some anyway in those kind of documents. So I'll choose 150 just to show you how fast it does and then I'll press the scan button here. So as you see it took us about 8-10 seconds I would say total. It's still scanning here. Let's see, here we go. So it took maybe 12 seconds, very fast. If it was 1200 dpi, we'll still be here for a long time. All right, so once you see the, uh, the scan over here, if you have multiple pages that you want to add to this document, simply go ahead, put the new page on the scanner and press add. You have all your pages on your screen, one beside another. But in my case, I just want to scan this, this one. So if you want to rotate it, you can press this small button to rotate the page if you're not happy. And then you have the options here to print whatever you just scan or to save it on your PC computer. You also have the option to share it on social media or by email. So this is it. This is how you use your HP printer to connect it to set it up with your Windows computer and then print and scan. If this was helpful, leave a like. Check my Amazon affiliate links down below. Uh, you help me a lot every time you go through my links to get paper, ink for your printer since you support my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.